The excerpt you've just heard from the Mozart B-flat major sonata is a great example of two-note slurs, which we're going to explore in this lesson. I think that two-note slurs are one of the most important movements to understand in the whole of piano technique. When we play two-note slurs, we can change the sound of two consecutive notes by playing with a downwards or an upwards movement. So if you play with a downwards motion, the tone will tend to be richer. And when you float off, the tone will tend to be lighter. So you can see this in the Mozart I played earlier if I do it slowly. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So when slowly, this movement can help to add shape to our music. For example, in this little Bartok, you can use the movement to give the melody expression and meaning. Similarly with something like the Chopin Ballade, by moving down and up across the slurs, it helps to create that swaying feeling of the waltz. The two-note slur movement can also give character and vitality. Here's Bartok. You'll notice here the fall is faster and so is the float off. And here's another example in Schubert's Papillon. The two-note slur movement is something of a hallmark in the classical era. Just as a violinist can use different bow strokes in order to show a variety of articulation, so in the classical period we can use this movement to give the music colour. So here it is in Haydn. Yes, I could do it like this. But that kind of irons out the phrasing. And by using this minute movement, it helps to give the characteristic 18th century phrasing. And the phrase ending helps to shape the end of the phrase. <laughs>